Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Today we're going to be reacting to Hilda Bassi um, going for the Guinness record for longest cooking duration. So she went for a hundred hours and so we're going to be reacting to that and all the news around it, Nigerian celebrities who came out to support her. Like, yeah, we're going to be talking about all of that. Hi, Ambassador. Hello, people. It's your boy, Ambassador. Ambassador again doing his thing. So, Hilda Vasi going for the Guinness um, record for longest cooking duration, if I'm not mistaken. So, let me just read some articles from different blogs and what people were saying online about the whole competition. So, BBC News Pigeon says, I want, so this is a statement from Hilda. She says, I want proof, say, something better fee come out from Nigeria. That's from Hilda Bassi. The 27 year old Aqua Ibombon chief, where the attempt to break Guinness record for longest cooking by one person follow BBC Pigeon talk before and after she completed her cooking in 100 hours. So um, then we also have actress Tonto DK coming out to show support for Hilda and the chef, which is, that's Chef Sunday, who was also there supporting Hilda through her endeavor. So um, this legit NG says, actress Tonto DK gives a special shout out to Chef Ajun Sunday Ukwer for assisting and supporting Hilda on her quest. In her words, everyone needs a Chef Sunday in their life. We love you, Chef Sunday, and we say thank you on behalf of the world, Nigeria womanhood, and the entire Hilda team. God bless Chef Sunday for being an amazing support system as he was part of making history. So we see Chef Sunday there beside Hilda uh, wiping her sweats and providing moral support and um, we have this person saying this Monica Ibe saying Chef Sunday is one of a kind and then we also have because People went online and were like, Guinness Book of Records, what's happening? Why is Hilda not pronounced winner yet? So um, we have Guinness putting out this post on, on their Facebook page, that's two days ago. So our record team looked forward to reviewing evidence from Hilda's epic cooking marathon. So um, we have this person coming to write and saying, why is Guinness world record not showing or talking about Hida cook, cook a ton? Can't see anything on their pages, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. Then Guinness replies to that saying, we are aware of this amazing record attempt. We need to preview all the evidence first before officially confirming the record. So, um, yeah. So that is the buzz that's been created by Hida's Cooking Marathon. We also have actor, um, um, comedian, sorry, Okafo, who um, was there on the scene. Nigerians came out to support Hilda. The crowd, the videos show like a lot of people cheering Hilda on. And like looking up, thinking of this and seeing the whole ambience around it, I'm like, does Guinness um, where we could even have a chance to dispute this. Like, let's say if they come out and say this was not actually legit, do you think if they say, okay, it was not legit, do you think they will be bold enough to not give her this world record? Because the way Nigerians are already hyping it. You mean if they don't give her the record? Mm -hmm. No, but I think as they said, it's... Um they are reviewing it. Mm -hmm. Some of those things, Guinness record on its own is not really the thing. It's not like you win any money as such. Um, so, so I think she has already won. That that's just what I'm trying to drive. I think mm -hmm. she has already. It's not about the record. She's giving us. She's not giving the exposure she has gotten. The network she might have created during this period. You see all the celebrities coming towards her. I mean. Before nobody knew who Hilda was. Mm -hmm. I think her, her her government name is um, Hilda F Young Bassi, mm -hmm. which um, I'm assuming she's from the Kwai Bom area. Mm -hmm. uh, she did not start now. Mm -hmm. So if you look at and that, that's some of the things I I always just get. Uh, it's funny to me when people jump on the bandwagon now 
and then you see a couple of other people who cooks around, curves around the world and saying they want to do something similar, they, they can do it, they cannot do it. This is something which she has embarked on like for the last what maybe three or five years. She's not just a cook. Hmm. She's a, an actress, TV presenter. She she has a, a premium restaurant, um, Food by Hilda, which does a delivery service um, for African, should I call it, and continental dishes. So it's something which has been built over the years. To cook for 100 hours is not, is not something which there's a plan to it. Mm. So when someone just gets up now and like, okay, she has done it, I can do it too. Yeah, you can cook. But the exposure, the buzz that came with it is not, it's not, it's not luck. Mm-hmm. There was some planning to these things. This is years of and other skills she acquired and years of preparation. Mm-hmm. So, okay, for four days. And I also like the, the, the appreciation that assistant on Sunday was getting. Mm. Because most of the time in some of these stories, you just focus on the person who, who is in front. Mm-hmm. For me, it's usually the representative of the success. Mm-hmm. But we don't look at all the actors. At times, very key people who support the whole process. So, so, so for me, she has already won. Given if she's given the award or not, mm-hmm. she has already won. She has already achieved her goal. Yeah, definitely, she has she has gotten all this popularity. So, but I'm just impressed at how um, Nigerians came out to support her because I'm looking at, you know, in Cameroon, yeah, we always talk about support your own, we always talk about how Nigerians are very committed in supporting things Nigerian. And so, I, like, I was watching the videos, I was watching the crowd, the shouting, the cheering, and I was like, this is amazing, you know? It's really amazing. And, like, look at all the celebrities coming out to cheer her. I mean, I remember when um, some two Cameroonians participated in this cooking contest. I don't, I can't remember the name of the show. And I remember they cooked jollof, and then they won that session of the show. And then Cameroonians on online were like, "Oh, this shows that um, Cameroonian jollof is actually the best jollof." So Ghanaian jollof and Nigerian jollof, you guys can leave the competition and stuff. Yeah. So we we got some celebrities talking about it, but I don't think it was this degree of ambiance created around it so i'm just saying like watching the video and seeing how nigerians are tweeting at guinness world record and saying like you know what you better you better make a statement you better do something so i'm like for the guinness record himself like there's already this pressure on them like okay we have to pronounce this girl winner in a way and we have to pronounce this girl winner and also it just shows how nigerians don't play with their own so like for me when i watched it i was like okay this is this is something yeah no but that's the point i'm also trying to drive to other african countries i think i've seen somebody in sierra leone say they want to do the same thing cameroon i think and somebody in ghana too I, i'm seeing that it's not like nigerians know how to support their own mm. if, if if there is a hilda in Cameroon, who does the same. So she was, she cooked from the 11th to the 14th of May. Mm-hmm. She featured a live streaming event, mm-hmm. multiple social media channels. Mm-hmm. Um, she did over 100 recipes. Mm-hmm. So if a Cameroonian does the same amount of work and accompanies with the same amount of exposure, mm-hmm. they will definitely get the same amount of... There's a Nigerian factor which I, I cannot deny there. I mean, because you're Nigerian and there's a large population already gravitating towards you. Mm-hmm. But for Cameroonians, we should not even have that complex. Because I think our culture can be very similar to Nigerians. Mm-hmm. And we can do some of these things and then still get this buzz because we are mis Nigerians mistake you for a Nigerian mm-hmm. and then still give you the support mm-hmm. before later on they realize they are not even Nigerian. Mm-hmm. So for Cameroonians, we even have that unique advantage where some of the things, like the, the, the recipes are talking about, the okra thing she was doing, Cameroonians cook the same thing. Mm-hmm. So so when you look at some of those recipes which she was pushing out, they're very Cameroonian dishes. Mm. So for me, it's just about the preparation, about that level of preparation. As I said, this has been years in the making. But somebody who just think that, okay, it's luck, and then because she's Nigerian, all of those things are just things to 
console yourself why a 27 year old girl is doing something this buzzworthy and you have not mm-hmm. but yeah. when it's all said and done i think with the same amount of preparation Cameroonians can do same and for me i when someone has already done the same thing it looks i don't want to use the word tacky but it looks it looks funny to come and now start saying i can cook the same brr, no 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 just learn from it a lot of lessons to take from this her preparation was good it's years in the making it's not a so if you look at the the, the, the if you go online right started this thing like five years ago mm. so it's not a, a, a one year thing yeah everybody can get to and put a pot in the fire and start cooking in two days time but if someone takes five years to prepare for something you definitely cannot get up in two years and then be doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. And you can actually see that she had a plan. So there are lots of pictures that came out after the the the, 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 the cook they want to call it or yeah, the, the cooking thing. And see that she had prepared a whole media file ready to push out some nice pictures showing her work, showing her this to accompany the buzz so that uh, it can drive people, it can get people talking. Mm-hmm. I already see her walking out in the gym, show like that. She was training for the 100 hour thing. So, so, and to have done this for five years, I think a couple of Cameroonians, that's, I always mention this thing. You know, I don't want to start calling names, but if you have been online enough, you'd have seen a couple of interesting Cameroonian ideas, which, if they were consistent and a little bit more tenacious in what they were doing, it, it would have blown up to something big. But they give up so soon, least challenge on their way. Most of our concepts or interesting ideas have not lasted up to five years. There are many talk shows which you guys know. There are many lives that people with which were was dragging traffic. He had an interesting concept to eat. Mm-hmm. But they just gave up thinking, okay, maybe they don't make as much money as soon as they thought they would and things like that. But this girl did this thing for five years and now it has blown up this big. Mm-hmm. Respect to that. And I think it's just testimony that uh, hard work and consistency pays. Yeah, definitely. Hard work and and then also there is a team mm-hmm. which Sunday represents the team, but I'm sure there are many other people. There's somebody holding a camera, definitely. Mm-hmm. Usually some people preparing some spices behind or something. So there is that team to which Cambodians we are very bad at team work. Very, very bad at teamwork. We, we, everybody wants to be the head, or even when you're in a team, as soon as you think you know it, need to be more, and yeah, you automatically want to become the leader. Mm-hmm. And then teams break up and have that uh, accumulated build up to this kind of success. Mm-hmm. So, so for me, I, I just learned a couple of lessons and we keep it moving. I don't think it's yeah, the whole issue of if it was a Cameroonian, we should be giving the award. I just learned from it and keep it moving. <clears throat> yeah, so definitely like like the things we should mention, like the consistency, the hard work, the team behind everything. And, and like I was just thinking, like you mentioned um a lot of times when people have this achievement the name that people call and the name that people praise is the person in front of the camera. Like, look at the situation of Steve Jobs and um, Steve Wozniak. Like, most of the times in inventions or big things that happen, the person who is in front of the camera, that's the person who people remember. Then the people who are behind the scenes who might even in some cases do most of the work or majority of the work and they just keep their heads down and uh, try to make things run smoothly for the person who is in front of the camera. They they don't get enough credit. So I, I like the fact that um, Chef Sunday was highlighted and you have a lot of people shouting out Chef Sunday online and stuff. So, and I, I would say Hilda is, like you said, okay, she has been doing this for five years and I want to believe like this team is a team that she is not just a team that she said, okay, I'm doing this and I'll pick you, you, you come and join me for people to stand by you. And I'm sure all of them were tired. I'm sure all of them were exhausted, but for people to be able to stay and keep on going with you, you should have built a kind of bond, a team spirit with them. So I'm sure it's a team that she has had for a long period of time. That's something which we can also learn. Like you said, like, a lot of times we are not good at 
staying at teamwork and the team which we have we change over and over again so so it's definitely this shows like having a team that you can keep for a long period of time and build a team relationship with them over a period of time is definitely something very important when you are going for really um mighty goals mighty dreams yeah so like also when i was watching the whole thing i was like this is 100 hours i'm thinking of myself I cannot. I'm thinking of st just standing in the kitchen and cooking for two hours. It's so exhausting. Then somebody is going for 100 hours, different recipes. Like I saw there was this picture of her looking so exhausted, so exhausted. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is, yeah, this is something. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Hilda and her team. I think it's an amazing, um, it's an amazing endeavor. I was watching her interview on BBC um, News where she was talking about how she decided to go on this adventure and do this. So because a lot of time when people hear of Nigerian youth, they think of scamming, they think of all kind of shady things that she was like, OK, let her do her part in making Nigerians when the year of Nigerian youth, they can also think, OK, this Guinness um, world record holder is from Nigeria. So she was like she wants Nigeria to also be known for nice things. So I'm like, yeah, that's 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 also a good dream, but I'm like Nigeria is also known for Bona Boy, it's known for Davido, it's known for Tiwa Savage. I mean, Nigeria is known for the good and the bad, and definitely Hilda has added so one more in the good direction. So yeah, so shout out to you and shout out to your team. Let's talk about our sponsors. Okay, as always, your boy Ambassador Ambassador is here to show you the way the money. Money, money, money. So we are talking everything African app. Um, Echo.online Online is a site and an app which is built to help African artists monetize their art. Um, what do we mean by monetize? We mean first the first step is to build a steady fan base. So on Echo.online, Online, you could get your fans to follow you, like your activities there, and hence. So you could just copy your link to your, your when you create your profile, you copy the link you shared on your other social media handles so that you build that fan base in one location. And then given that the site is built around monetizing your art, whenever you put out a song, your fans are going to be there to buy. When you, you are part of an event, they're going to buy tickets, you put out your merchandise, they could buy the merchandise from you, you could get artist bookings from there. Some of the features are still under construction. Some of them are already live. But as I always say, the early bird catch the the early bird is going to catch the fattest worm. So those who are going to be online are going to enjoy the advantages of first come first serve. And um, I think I always use the example of YouTube. The first um, users who jumped on YouTube became millionaires from YouTube because they had the best customer service. They got the first endorsement deals. The, the they were able to adapt their strategy. YouTube was able to adapt things in favor of them. Let me put it that way. So those who could jump on Echo Online, get familiar with the site and the app, start thinking of ways to use it to your advantage, and then also communicate with the Echo team. You can as well get to Chakara TV if you want to get in touch with the Echo team. That way, there are specific things which you want them to tweak out or adjust in your favor. As I always say, follow the money. You don't get the heat and then you don't get heat in your pocket. Echo Online will facilitate these things. It's very adapted to the African user. So you could pay using mobile money or all the other African payment methods. Like other sites where you have to send someone to America or get someone in America to get your money, then send it to you. That's more cost, that's more risk. And plus your fan base, core fan base in Africa is not on all of those title and item, item sites. Which you are selling your songs on, so they are just hoping on the diaspora. But with Echo Online, it's focused on Africa in Africa, so you can actually get directly in touch with your core fan base, which Africans who love your music and want to support it, but most of the time don't have means to do so. so Echo Online is here to answer all of these problems for the African artist. And um, I hope that you guys are going to come back in the comment section to share your experience with us, share your success story, and why not share some of the money? <laughs> yeah definitely there'll be so much money they will not hesitate to share so 
guys thank you very much for tuning into this episode of the just my opinion podcast as, as usual we always want to hear your opinion what you think about our conversation and thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed this conversation share and see you guys next time bye guys